morning, afternoon, or evening. I go by the name of Solo. Welcome back to Solo Driven. Now today is day one of several days, as promised, of getting the differential put in. Now if you missed the video of me going over all the parts that I got for this car and what I'm gonna be putting in the differential, I'll leave a link right here if you wanna check that out. Now, we're gonna go ahead and waste no time, load the parts in because we have to be up at one in the morning. All right, we have everything loaded up, the axles, the bearings, the gears, everything loaded up. So, I'll see you in the morning. Bam, good morning, or afternoon, or evening. This is getting complicated already. All right, so let's take the Cobra on over to the shop. Cold start, neighbors, sorry. Now don't get me wrong, I'm very excited that I'm finally gonna get the differential fixed, but a little bummed out at the same time because it'll be a while before I can get on this thing. I have to at least break this differential in for 500 miles, so I don't, like I said, this is a weekend car for me. I'm gonna really have to go out for a lot of cruises. Now with that being said, let's enjoy a couple more pulls. We'll take the long route. So we're here at the shop, the Mystic Chrome for the win. Check out that color, guys. And also the GT350, and of course, the Hades Cobra. Turbo. Break it down, break it down for him real quick. Oh, it's turbo, I got the exhaust, I got the, and I take. got the open headers. <laughs> Don't mess with this one if you see it out in the street. It's dangerous. So we're gonna leave this car here for a day. We're gonna come pick it up tomorrow. But luckily for y'all, that'll just be in a second. And just like that, we are back. Check out this bad. GT500, let me tell you, if I had, if I could afford this car, this is the color that I would get it in. I don't know the name of this color, but this is the color that I would only get the GT500 in. Check out that sound. Oh my God. Beautiful interior. I love the splitter on this thing, the front bumper. And of course, that's what
that Shelby GT500 really makes my car look like a baby. A while back, I was having trouble with the clunking. I did several videos on trying to resolve the clunking sound with this car, and I noticed that it was coming from the differential. So I'm hoping that maybe this resolved the issue with the clunking and it was the differential just being so loose so worn and i'm hoping that this has resolved that clunking issue we're gonna have to take it easy for a little while we gotta drive it normal we can't go hammering on the throttle so we're gonna drive it normal for a while but i'm gonna give y'all my first reaction and taking this car i know that it's supposed to have a little play it's supposed to have a little clunk but maybe it's gotten better and I'm gonna give y'all my initial reaction just in case it did get better. But let's take this car home and uh, break it in. Damn, a bird or a damn pterodactyl got me really good. All right. Wow, that's pretty good in reverse. I don't know if I'm tripping. No clunking, no play in this rear differential at all remember uh we do have the upr adjustable rear uh upper and lower control arms wow oh yeah just like i predicted that was the main issue not as far as clutch engagement but the reason why this car just wasn't going like it used to and that is because of that rear differential this car it has no play it's, it's not it's not clunking it's grabbing the way it should it doesn't have like somewhat of a wheel hop so to speak that's what was the biggest issue with the differential i am so happy right now like anything that pushes this car in the right direction especially something as big as that was uh of course holding the car back from its full potential it just makes me happy brings out the, the rear suspension honestly this car already feels a ton better instant engagement instant response I don't know I, this is just my opinion I know it's been a minute since y'all seen this bad boy and a couple changes to the car soon. Review? Eighty-nine miles in one day. Not bad. Oh yeah, comp orange for the win. All right, a couple things I need to address before we end today's video. The catfish, baby. It turns out <laughs> that this hood is functional indeed. I accidentally made the mistake of saying that it wasn't functional. Um, I'm still getting used to this whole platform, so it is functional. As you can see right here, this is where the ram air is at. 
it goes in here, circles back into the front where it leaves and throws it back into the air box. So it is functional, my bad. And also with the Cobra, the pedals that were on there are actually the factory pedals. Um, I just didn't really like the way they looked. I didn't like the style of them. So yeah, I'll try and get better at unintentionally spewing out misinformation, but keep your expectations very low. But anyways, guys, that's gonna end today's video. Make sure to subscribe to support, smash that like button, and remember, be motivated, stay driven.